hello and welcome to my channel so in this today's video i'll talk about the business object and i will try to make you um the clear understanding about the business object the business object is very important in the above prep and if you don't have that clear concept on the business object that it would be very difficult to write above code so you can see this is the structure but before going to the stu structure let's talk about the what is the business objects so basically what is business object you have to understand what is the business object so now before going to the business object you already know like design design time objects and you also know that like runtime objects so now um you know that is the basically this is the technical related things like design time and also runtime and now you are going to learn that business objects so when you are um, talking about the business then first you you may you may think about the business users business user so what are the business user business users are work with the business work with business business here means that get yeah, the business means that like ERP so what is actually a business user work so business user work with like any technical users they work like in a basis users they uh, they they are the administrator and the fixed the problems and they are doing the monitoring the they give the access to the users and if if it is the app users then they are actually doing the developments but business user actually work with the uh, business their own business data what is that so basically they are work with the um, purchase order and um, PR purchase uh, requisitions also they do the good receive they do the invoice and they also do the sales order see so business actually business user actually doing these type of activities like they create update edits they uh, also do the same for the peer they also do the gr and in addition that they also approve reject those type of things so those type of things in the real world are called the business objects so for example one sales order is a business objects so now you can just think that um, on sales order like for example two three zero zero on three is the number of sales order this number of sales order actually that is the business objects so any PR is a business object any GR is a business object any invoice is a business object any sales order is a business object so this is the basic of that business objects what the business user work with that is called the business objects so actually now we we just understand that what is the business objects so um, let's go further into it so 
here you can see if I go to the structure from structural point of view as I am talking about the structure so a business objects uh, consist of a tree of a nodes so basically that is the tree structure and that is the node so this all about the node at the structure is the tree structure so for example if you have that sales order so first the sales order under that sales order you will find that sales order item under that you will find that schedule line so for that sales order as you already know that sales order is a business objects and under that it have like um, items and under that items it has line schedule line items so this is the st same structure represent here and you can see that each nodes basically those are the nodes at nodes are linked by the special kind of association you already know that what is association it is association is on kind of join some people say it is the smart join some people say it is a lazy join so whatever you can say actually that is on kind of join so here that each node is um, is linked by a special kind of association this association the whole part defined as a relationship okay so this association is a one kind of you can see here actually it is a tree structure so this link actually special type of associations this association is called compositions so now you may think that com compositions is the new term but everything is linked this link is called the association when it is the it have that root keyword and it have the link with that other nodes then is link is called the composition so this composition is a special association that defines a whole part relationship so here you can see that uh, each node of this composition tree is an element so basically those are the element that modeled with the CDS entity and errands along with the composition path so now how you can model uh, you know that is the sales order and that is the item so for here you may think that is the sales order and that is the item and probably that is the schedule line item so how you can model in the CDS entity so here uh, you have to remember that all model you have to do with the CDS entity and you have to use that composition path so as per this um, as per this diagram the sequence of uh, compositions containing the entities with each other built as a composition tree of an individual business objects so you can see that like that is the business object and business object is always connecting with that other type of entity so here uh, the root entity the root entity is of a particular importance of a uh, composition tree um, now we can say that is the composition tree because each node is connected with the uh, compositions and this root entity serve as a uh, representations of the business objects and is defined top node within a hierarchy in a business object structure so once you have that uh, root entity that means that this is a business object 
without root you cannot say it is a business object so here um, you have to when you write the code here you have to use that root entity uh, in your um, in your in your code and when it's linked with that other child entity then you have to use the composition so here if you if you link with this child then you have to use the compositions in the same way and when you another another thing is that like for example that is the sales order so you may think like this is a sales order as a root root sales order then you have to use the composition composition that like item but sometimes you may link item sales order to the items so currently it is a it is a link with parents to child but sometimes you may connect with uh, association to parents I mean that you may link to the child to the parents in that case you have to like items association to parents who is the parents here it is the sales order so this is the one thing like composition you can see how you can use the compositions and another is the association the parents keyword and here as it is a root so sales order you can define that is the root so now you can see that is the um, that is the mainly root and it also parents and this is also a child of that root and it is also a parent of this child so basically that is a child parent entity and the same way it is a child of these parents and it is also have another child so that is a child parents but here you can see that uh, it don't have any child so actually that is the last part so it is a leaf entity so here actually that is the sales order that is the root parent entity and here items that is the child parent entity and that schedule lines basically that is the leaf entity so um, there's the things actually the structure so you have to follow this structure and you have to remember that business object is a real artifact what it can be sales order parcels prp whatever it is and the structure is always the street structure and the root of the structure is always define the root uh, keyword and when it link with that child that is always use the composition uh, keyword and when you want to child relation with that parents that you have to use that association to parents um, keyword so and whatever you do so here that is the notes and in the series view it is called the entities so this model you have to build in the series so model in the CDS so that is the reason CDS CDS view is very important to define that model so in the next slide I will discuss about the behavior of the business objects what is that and why it is required thank you